Hello, so let's solve QP13 uh, May June 2021 and question number one is that what is the reasonable estimate of the kinetic energy of an Olympic athlete sprinting in a hundred meter race? So uh, calculating the estimate uh, of the kinetic energy half mv square average mass of human body is 70 kgs and the average speed of an athlete is almost 10 meters per second so that becomes 3500 so that's almost c question number two is what is the unit of momentum so momentum is mass into velocity the unit of mass is kgs the unit of velocity is meters per second and what we can do is that we can multiply the numerator and the denominator with seconds so that would make up kg meters per second square which is the unit of newton and this is seconds which is time so this becomes newton and this becomes seconds so the appropriate answer from here is C. Question number three says, what is the horizontal component of the force shown? So the horizontal component of this force is 12 cos 53, which makes up A 12 meters. Question number four says that <coughs> two readings on a micrometer are shown. What is the difference between the two things? So reading number one is one 1.5 and the thimble reading is 10 11 12.12 which makes it 1.62 reading 2 is 10 11 12 13 and this is 45 46 0.46 so this makes up 13.46 millimeter so it asks us about the difference so we just need to subtract them and our answer would be b 11.84 question number five says the diameter of a circle circular disc is measured seven plus minus 0.1 millimeter what is the area of the disc and the absolute uncertainty in the area the area of the disc is a is equals to pi d square by four d is 7 so the area becomes 38 so this becomes the area <coughs> if you plug in the values now we need to find the absolute uncertainty the absolute uncertainty is change in area over area equals its d square so 2 change in diameter over diameter and the absolute uncertainty becomes change in area equals 2 into change in diameter over diameter multiplied by area. Just plug in the values which makes a positive negative one. So B is the appropriate answer. Question number 6 says that we need to find the distance traveled during the first 4 seconds and we are given with the velocity time graph. We just need to find the area of <coughs> this trapezium. The area of the trapezium is half into height which is 4 and sum of parallel sides which is 2 plus 12. So this makes up 2 into 14 which is 28 meters so d is the appropriate answer next question says that a steel ball is dropped from rest from a height h <coughs> and the graph is being shown for h height versus t square the gradient of the graph is g it says which graph gives the acceleration of the ball so it was dropped from rest so initial velocity is zero so let's use the formula s equals ut plus half a t square a t square so s is our height so h equals ut is 0 so half a t square making a the subject a becomes 
टू एच बाय टी स्क्वायर सो ए ओवर टी स्क्वायर इज गिवन एज ग्रेडियंट सो जी इज ए ओवर टी स्क्वायर सो ए बिकम्स टू इन टू जी सो सी इज द अप्रोप्रिएट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर एट सेज द टू मैसेज कैपिटल एम एंड स्मॉल एम एंड कनेक्टेड बाय एन इन एक्सेंसिबल स्ट्रिंग विच पास ओवर फ्रिक्शन लेस पुली मैस एम रेस्ट ऑन फ्रिक्शन लेस स्लोप एज शोन The slope is at angle theta to the horizontal. The two masses are held initially stationary and then released. Mass m accelerates down the slope. So that means that m is greater than small m. So this force would be greater, and this tension, which is due to the string, would be smaller. So let's say that's T. E. So from here we can say that. the forward force fd is greater than tension this fd is because of the weight of the mass m capital m so mg so the component along the slope is this is our theta so the, along the slope the component would be mg sin theta so what we can say that fd is m g sin theta and this tension is the weight of the this mass m which is m g so this becomes m g so g cancels out so this becomes m sin theta is greater than g so this becomes sin theta sorry sin theta is greater than m over m so appropriate answer is c question number 9 says the weight and masses of four different objects on the surface of four different planets are shown which planet has the lowest value of the free fall at its surface <coughs> so in order to find the lowest value of acceleration w equals mg g becomes g becomes w over m do bear in mind that the weight must be in newton and the mass must be in kg you just need to divide the weight by mass so what you will get over here considering this milli kilo and all those <coughs> suffixes prefixes so part a the weight uh, the a value acceleration is 6.66 part b is 6 part c it's 10 part d it's 3.46 so what does it say has the lowest value of acceleration so this is d what we have done is 2.6 into 10 by pi 3 divided by 750 so that becomes 3.46 question number 10 says that a deep in rock space is traveling towards a distant star and collides with a stationary spacecraft which is not possible outcome of the collision the rock becomes stationary and the spacecraft move towards the star this is possible so this cannot be the answer the rock moves away from the star and so does the spacecraft this is not possible uh applying the initial momentum question number 11 is a steel ball is falling at constant speed in steel air constant speed means that it is in equilibrium the force acting on the ball are up thrust viscous drag and weight what is the order of the increasing magnitude of the three forces so a ball is being acted upon by weight it is in equilibrium so up thrust and drag are over here so the greatest magnitude would be of weight as it is in one direction so either it's a or b and up thrust is the difference is because of the pressure difference Uh, between the top and the bottom surface so a steel ball would have a smaller difference in height so that would be the least so up thrust is less the least in magnitude and weight would be the greatest so a is the appropriate answer thanks for watching this video do like and subscribe my channel for more videos thank you